Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I'd like to read a piece of scripture to you here from the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians in chapter 15. There's so much to read here. I'm just going to read you the last part of this chapter. This is the Apostle Paul, and he's talking about the resurrection. And uh, we'll start here. And the saints that bear the image of uh, God, as in the earthy, verse 48, such are they also that are earthy, and as in the heavenly, such as they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying which is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And that last part is just what I want to touch on. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. That, that always abounding, when I was in school, I remember them teaching us action words, abounding. And he's saying always abounding in the work of the Lord, always about our Father's business. There is a call for each of us. Um, there is a job for each of us. We all have something that we can do. Some may think, well, I can do this better than I can uh, do something else. But God, who calls us, who qualifies us, who gives us the not only ability, but the opportunity to share his love with others. I... Uh, Last month, and I, I looked it up just to see, but last month I sang the song that I'm going to sing now. There's a dear lady uh, in McDermott, Ohio, who her and her husband, um, I believe it was probably even after he had passed, but uh, she sent me and my wife to a Sword of the Lord conference uh, in North Carolina. And I've never forgotten that, nor has my wife. Um, but it was an encouragement to us, and it was um, something that strengthened us. We had just began to pastor in the year 2000, um, a church that we stayed at for about 14 years. And that was the beginning of that pastorate. She didn't attend our church, although she came a couple of times. But uh, last month on the 7th I sang this song and that dear lady who doesn't see the best any longer uh, her daughter sent a message and said uh, would you would you sing that again another time because my mother liked the song and so Miss Joy Butler you'll have to forgive me um, <laughs> as I looked back here I am ready to face the day. And as I looked back, I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing a month ago when I sang this song. So I hope you like blue. <laughs> but this song is for you, Miss Joy. 
always abounding in the work of the Lord. It doesn't matter if you can get out of your house. That's not what it's talking about. You can still work from your home. It was such a um, such a blessing to know uh, that she watched, that she cared. And uh, so it's quite an honor to be able to sing this for you today. Dear Lord, I'll be a witness If you will help my weakness I know that I'm not worthy, Lord, of Thee By eyes of faith I see Thee Upon the cross of Calvary Dear Lord, I cry, let me thy servant be. Jesus, use me, and O oh Lord, don't refuse me. For surely there's a work that I can do. Lord, help my will to crumble, and though the cost be great, I'll work for you. I'll stand for you, dear Jesus, though death may come my way. I'll speak the gospel to the fallen near. But if it be thy will, Lord, to grow across the sea, Lord, help me to be willing to say yes. Jesus, use me, and, O oh Lord, don't refuse me, for surely there's a work that Help my will to crumble And though the cost be great I'll work for you He's the lily of the valley The bright and morning star He's the fairest of ten thousand To my soul He's the beautiful rose of Sharon, he's all the world to me. But best of all, he is my coming King. Jesus, use me, and O oh Lord, don't refuse me, for surely there's a that I can do and even though it's humble Lord help my will to crumble and though the cost be great I'll work for you Lord as we come to you we do thank you for the opportunity to be in your service, uh, to be a servant of yours. We thank you for what you've done for us through the plan of salvation, God. We're thankful for the opportunity to spread the good news uh, to those that need to hear it. Lord, we pray that you would bless those that watch this or listen to it today, that you would give them encouragement today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks, and we'll see you Thursday.